hello this is Tom Kyle it's uh, 14 14 on the 25th 25th of April 2016 and I'm calling Pinsent Mason and this is the Monday following the uh, Friday when I called last thing in the day to a guy called Baljin Demanda um, and he hasn't got back to me which is quite a surprise but anyway uh, his secretary told, said loads of things. She's completely dropped him in it. It's very funny. But um, I, I, I'm just going to see now whether they'll actually answer the phone right. So the number is 020... Oh, sorry. 020... Oh, Is that right? Seven zero zero zero. So oh two oh seven four one eight seven thousand. Oh hello, can I speak to Belgian Demanda, please? It's B H A L J N D E. Oh, the surname, sorry. Um, Manda, M A N D E R. Thanks. Hello, Baljinda. Um, this is Tom Carhill here. I'm quite disappointed that you haven't got back to me. I mean, maybe you're off work today or something, but um, I was actually expecting to hear from you probably actually on Friday when I called. I appreciate it was at the end of the day and you were in a conference, but still, this is quite important. So um, make sure that you get back to my email and I'll, I'll, make an, I'll make an arrangement to speak to you. Hopefully we'll be able to sort that out today, but I've got to go out in a little while. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye. I call back. I'm just calling the same number again. Oh, hello. Um, can I speak to somebody in the compliance, one of the compliance officers? Yeah, Tom Carhill. Carhill, Charlie Alpha Hotel, Indigo, Lima, Lima. It's, I'm, just, I'm just following up something to do with uh, one of the um, cases that they're involved with, to do with one of their clients. No, I have, I, I, I don't, look, um, you understand, like, you've got, you've got the solicitors dealing with something. Um, I've tried to get hold of him, it's important, it's to do with a, uh, uh, a case that he's dealing with and um, I need to hear back from him uh, I spoke to him on uh, Friday at the, the secretary I need to hear back from him and he's taken too long you know like it's the afternoon now of the next day I mean you know working day he should have got back to me that evening it's important you know um, somebody's secretary but again she left him a message but I don't want to speak to him I need to I need to go over his head because he's going to get the firm in trouble if he doesn't do it he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't got back and explained what he's going to do about the problem that he's found himself in so it's important I need to need to go over his head you know give me a second on the internet here right I can I can have a quick look I can um, have a look for was it Pinsent Mason uh, if you've got quite a lot of Pinsent Mason people oh god sorry someone's calling me on the other line I should have got a cancel the call. Um, yeah. Right, yeah, compliance. Yeah, would you have a compliance department?
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care what your office. I don't, I don't know how your company's set up. Do you understand? I need to speak to somebody in the compliance office. That's what I need to speak to. I don't know what office. I mean, I presume he's in the London office, so maybe it'd be the London one. I don't know how. You, do you see what I mean? I'm, I'm somebody who doesn't. I'm, I don't work for your firm. I need to speak to someone in the compliance office. I'd imagine. And I don't know how your firm sets itself up. You know, I don't know all these people's names who work for your firm because I don't work for your firm. That's why I'm. That's why people have departments so they get put through to the right place. Do you, are you, does that make sense? Look, I need to speak to you about a criminal matter which is related to one of the cases that one of your clients work, you know, who's appointed your firm. It affects one of the cases that you're dealing with. And uh, I need to speak to somebody. And What's this, the name of your company, sir? I don't have a company. So you're not calling on behalf of your no. company? No, I'm not calling on behalf of the company. Carhill, yeah. C A H I L L. And it's a legal matter. Of course, it's a legal matter. You are lawyers, aren't you? Hello? Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I do need some more information. <coughs> what, what do you want to know? You do deal with individuals. You're a law firm. You take on clients. That's how it works. Individuals call you and get you to do work, and individuals tell you things about cases. That's how it's work. All this nonsense about don't individual represent. We're a corporate law firm. I, I'm aware of that. So is it to do with your company? No, it's to do with yeah. It's to do with Bestfield Properties. Your client is RE10. It's Nimish Patel. And he's stolen eighty thousand pounds out of the uh, out of uh, out of the company. It's, it's been stolen, and it's a police. It's now it's a police matter, and I need to speak to the lawyer to get him to explain why he hasn't reported it to the police himself. Okay, bear with me one second, please. So this is bear compliance, yeah. But why is it taking you so long? What what are you? I don't understand. Look, do you understand? This is important. Yeah, it's very important. And you're messing around trying to shield calls, giving me all this nonsense about you can't speak to a person. This is absolute nonsense, right? I don't care what your stupid rules are. One of your solicitors has been representing somebody and has been assisting them in organised crime. What language? What language? Sorry, what language? Excuse me, what, what language? Just let's let's rewind. What language don't you tolerate? You've not given me much information. What I'm language not, don't you... What language... Look, you're just putting excuses in place. You haven't got any excuses. You're just saying... You're just blabbering on. What language have I used which is unacceptable? You have, you have come through to the switchboard, sir. I'm going to try somebody <clears> for you. You better start trying harder. OK. Can I have your phone number as well, please? No, I want to get put through to someone now. This is important. Thanks.
Hans. Oh, yeah, hello. Um, can I speak to somebody in compliance, please? In compliance, you have the name of the person? No, 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 just somebody in the compliance department, one of the bosses, please. Okay, and what's it regarding? It's regarding a criminal issue which uh, um, is related to one of the, your clients that you've taken on. And, um, you know, um, obligations to inform the police of criminal activities uh, that hasn't happened, and one of your solicitors hasn't explained himself. He's been given more than enough time. Very important, need to speak to someone. Okay, you just come through to the international switchboard at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would, it would be, it would be, I would imagine, right, it, the solicitor's based in London. The insolvency which is involved was in London. Um, I can tell you, so it will be one of the London offices, but somebody in the compliance department, somebody has just been messing me around on the switchboard for ages and ages and ages, and then they just, like, ended up like the call just went dead. So... I don't really know what they're playing at, but this is important. You realise this is this is an important issue, and they're just. What I'll need before I can put you through to someone is just a bit more information. Yeah. I can see who you through to. Yeah, but you make sure, right? This is the guy. The guy who this, the solicitor concerned is Baljinder Manda, right? But it's about Baljinder Manda not informing the police of criminal activity, right? So I don't want to speak to Baljinder Manda because he's probably just going to say he's not there, and he's probably been told he's not allowed to speak to me because. Uh, he's probably in a lot of trouble because the fact he's been caught, uh, I, well, I imagine he's been caught, it doesn't look very good anyway. So I need to speak to somebody, you know, but not Baljinder. Okay. It's Am about Baljinder. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, you can't call back. I need to speak to somebody now. I bet they, I, I'm not going to be. He should have called me back um, last, you know, on Friday. He should have called me back on Friday. He didn't call back. And, uh, you know, his secretary knew about it. He knew about it. He hasn't called me back. He's got the information. He's had it written, you know, he's had an email. He's had an email with the same information in again that was also sent on Friday. And he's had all day today and he hasn't bothered. So he's not going to get back to me. I need to go above his head. It's very important. It's important it happens, you know, immediately. I can't just be waiting around because it's just not going to happen. It needs to happen now. Okay, one moment, please. <clears throat> Thanks. Hiya, so you have come through to Sonia to team leaders of the board? Oh, hello, hello, Sonia. You alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm not bad. Somebody okay. somebody hung the phone up with me about, about no, five minutes ago. Right yeah. That's alright, that's alright, that's alright. Yeah, that's alright, okay. Um, right, in regards to this situation, it is a bit difficult if we're not, if you don't provide us with enough information to be able to assess it properly. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to need to get back to you. Yeah, that's fine. Look, put, you, you, don't you have the different departments and lists no. of people in the yeah. different departments? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay, then. Um, uh, my number is uh, 02... No, no, sorry, 01634. Oh, sorry, 01... 01634. Mm-hmm. Right, um, Tom, Tom Carhill. Tom Carhill. Okay. No, Carhill, C-A-H-I-L-L. -L. Okay, no problem. I think we've got a bit of an understanding of what it's regarding. You just need to bear... Look, look, I, I, I'll explain it very, very quickly. Look, okay. oh, I just
it, the way law firms work, yeah, you've got different solicitors working for different, different, in different departments on different stuff, right? Then you've also got another kind of department, so you'll have people working on insolvencies, people working on personal injuries, pers people working on divorces and, you know, family law. Yeah. Then you get people in compliance, which is like, but I don't want to speak to the solicitor who's, who's, who's at issue because he hasn't got back to me. He should have got back to me. He hasn't got back to me. One of the cases that he's involved with, um, a criminal that's well known to me, uh, has okay. stolen a load of money out of that insolvency. Now he's done that in the past, right. you know, with, 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 with regarding me. So that that solicitor is effectively aiding and abetting an ongoing crime. He's not defending him in a court case. He's assisting him. I mean, he might be doing it by accident, but from what I heard on the last phone call from his secretary, I expected a phone straight call straight back because she said, "Oh yeah, we we know all about this." Um, we think he's done it all the time, and I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute, why haven't you gone to the police already? So, you know, and it didn't sound like they'd gone to the police to me. Am I right in thinking of that we're, with that situation we're, we're referring to Belgian demander? Yeah. Right, okay, cool. You know, it's, imp it's important. Yeah. He's, meant, he's got to get back. He can't, he can't just get, look, that guy's stolen 80 grand in this particular instance. He's just stolen it. He's stolen more than 80 grand. He's stolen loads and loads of money. And if Belgian demander knows about it, what what on earth is he doing? What on earth? Is he, your your firm's just won an award for being the best solicitors firm, and you've got somebody just going around. What? Oh yeah, we know all about that. Oh yeah, but he does it all the time. Well, hang on a minute. Why why am I telling you this? And you're just, oh yeah, we know about. It. Well, what what what's going on? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not. Can I just ask? Sorry to keep asking questions. I just want to make sure I've got all the information before I pass this further. So we've got Belgian demand, who I believe. Um, no, no, they're, they're an insolvency practitioner, yeah, and they use it as a, a cover to steal money, right? And they've got um, they've got people who are ex-police who work in the fraud squad who used to work for their firm or who worked for the, you know the um, serious fraud office. And what happens is the police you've basically got this corrupt system where you've got specific police in the fraud squad and people who've been in the serious fraud office and active criminals and people in the, um, do you know the insolvency yeah. practitioner, no sorry, the National Bureau of Fraud Experts or something that that guy who runs that he's also involved, they're just, and they just go around doing crime constantly and um, they've, be, they've been reported to the police loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of time but in this instance it's just like, an, it's most of the uh, times when they steal they do a bit of a better job of kind of making it a bit complicated so people don't really understand what they've done but in this instance it's 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 very straightforward, and the fact that your guys agreeing, well, is a secretary. Why would he? That's not even his personal secretary. She's got a few um, people she works for. You know, she takes the calls, screens the calls, and that for a few people. And she she knew all about it. So I'm thinking, well, if she even she knows all about it, you know, I mean, is she? It's it's very, it's very odd. And I, and I and I said, I just can't believe I haven't heard back from him. No, I, I mean, obviously, you'd appreciate the switchboard. You wouldn't you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. I can only apologise on behalf. Um, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Thank you. And I can assure you, we'll try and get someone to give you a call back ASAP. Well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go out in about okay, an hour. Sorry, so. what's good for you? I just need to get someone to speak. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to go out in about, in about, you know, like I, I need, to, I need, to, I, I have to go out at like, um, I need to go out. Uh, yeah. In the next, like, in the next sort of half an hour, I can take a call. But after that, I've got okay. to go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and manage your expectations. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it done that quickly because obviously I've got to go through a whole load of processes before I can get to the right person. <coughs> so well, what? Look, can't, 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 can't you? Can't you just can't? But um, I kind of assume you don't want to particularly hear from him. Is that correct? He, he should have got back to me. Yeah, you see, okay. if he hasn't got back to me, what's going on? There's no, okay. look, there's, there's, there's no. There's, there's no there's no point speaking to him he he knows his secretary knows he's had emails he's had you know what i mean he's he's got he's got all the evidence is there he needs to explain himself yeah he, he hasn't and the other thing which is very significant do you know the um the proceeds of crime act 2002 right there's a big thing in it called tipping off it's a criminal offense and i'm very clear to him if he goes and tips Navindra, oh no shit Navindra, we've been um rumbled um what are we going to do? If he's done that, because I've told him specifically not to do it, because he's not allowed to, even though he's his client, he's not allowed to do this because he's not defending somebody in court for a crime. He's helping him do a crime. He might be unknowingly helping him, but he, if he tips him off, that's a crime. He can go to prison for tipping him off. 
And see, what I'm worrying about now is I want to bolt the guy down. I don't want him to have loads of latitude and go, oh, it's really confusing, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's an accident. I just happened to, like, help, you know, just turn a blind eye and it went on for weeks and weeks and weeks and I knew all along. The guy's secretary knows that he knows and she's even said it. So. You remember the secretary's name? Right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, Martin, thank you. Uh, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her name is uh, Jan Hartman. Right. Um, and I'm going to try it in the next half now, but forgive me if I don't. Have you got another alternative number somebody can contact you on? No, if, 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 if you just, just call me on this number. If you, if you can't get me, you can't get me. You know, right. so I've got, I've got, I have got other things to do. It's just that, course, yeah. yeah, it's a bit complex. Why, why I'm, yeah, why no, this is to do with me. But, but the point is, I do need. But I can't just let it roll on and on and on and on. It's not out of the question. All right, thanks for your help then. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.